Hello, everyone, and welcome to Brain Blitz Audios. Today, in this episode of Snoozat Questions with Solutions, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking a sample of some questions based on the Snoozat examination, and in particular, the aptitude section of Snoozat. So. Um, in this particular video, we're going to be looking at some aptitude questions and how to solve them effectively. So, <clears throat> here comes our first question. In a certain code, P is hashtag, A is percentage, C is phi, and E is at. You need to find out how P is written in that code. So, the question we're doing here is a form of coding and decoding. So we're given a word and we're given a certain code and we're asked to write this particular word piece in the given code. So we know that P is hashtag so let's write piece here and then make sure that we can get the right code in there. P is hashtag so there's that. E is at so we'll put the at the rate right symbol a is percentage, so there it is. So as you can see, um, we have already eliminated option B because option B's third letter is a hashtag, which means that would have translated to P. So what this would have read was P-A-P-C-E, which is wrong. Now we have two options. We can either have at hashtag or phi at one of the two correct answers and if none of them are right then the answer is none of these now remember the code for c is phi so the phi has to be our fourth letter so this means that option a is also incorrect and that option c is the right answer e once again is represented by at so hashtag at the rate percentage phi and at would code for peace now this means that option D, none of these is the right answer, and that is because we do have a right answer in option C. So encoding and decoding, all we have to do is understand the code, and then for this question we have to code the particular word. We would need to um, use that particular code in order to write the, the same word that we have in this particular code. So having Again, that you've understood that, let's move on to the next question. In a certain code language, Lieutenant is written as 123-221-202-141-1420. Then we need to find out how Mango can be written in that code language. So when you have a word and its code given, it's a good idea to write it all in caps. So Lieutenant, L-I-E-U. T E N A N T and the number one two three two two one two zero two one four one one four two zero. Now let's um now most of it is using the placement of the letters in the alphabet. So best so the best way to do that is to write them in rows of five. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T and then the final row you can write all the way. So that's U V W X, Y, and then the odd letter, that's Z. So that will give you the, uh, an idea of what's the, letter, the placement for the letter. In this case, we have L, third row, second letter. That means its placement is 12. For I, the placement is 9. For E, it's 5. For U, it's 21. For T, it's 20. And um, for E, it's, again, <clears throat> Five. For N, it is 14. For A, it's 1. For N, it's 14 again. Um, and for T, it's 20. 
Now, if you notice in the code, L matches up with 12. However, I does not. Its place, it is the ninth letter in the alphabet, but the number assigned to it is 3. Similarly, for E, the number assigned is 2, while its place is 5. However, 21 does go with U. So what does this tell us? Now this reveals an interesting pattern. If you look at it, the consonants are coded based on their letter position in the alphabet. Now what about the vowels? A, E, I, O, U. Well, if you look at <clears throat> I, it's given the third position, the number three, and it's the third among the vowels. For E, the number given is 2, and it's the second among the vowels. So, the code for the vowels turns out in their position in the abbreviation A-E-I-O-U. So, um, we now know how to code for consonants and vowels. So, E is 3, I mean E is 2, I is 3, and so on. So we now know how to code uh, any particular letter into this particular code. Now let's look at the word mango. Now mango has two vowels. The first vowel is A, and its position is 1 in A-E-I-O-U. For the letter O, the position would be 4. The number that we give would be 4 because it's the fourth vowel in the abbreviation A-E-I-O-U. Now let's look at the consonants. M is the 13th letter, N is the 14th, and G is the 7th. So 13, 14, and 7. The final code that we get here is 131474. That is the code for the word mango. And if you look at our options, you can see that option B turns out to be the right option. <clears throat> now let's look at another question. This one again involves coding letters to numbers. If Delhi is coded as 73541 and Calcutta is coded as 8 two, five, eight, nine, six, six, two. So how will Calicut be coded? Now, you can go and identify how the letters and numbers are associated with each other, but that would take on a huge amount of time. Instead, look at our word, Calicut. C-A-L-I-C-U-T. Now, if you notice, Calicut borrows letters from Delhi and Calcutta. So, it borrows C-A-L-U-N-T from Calcutta. And it borrows I from Delhi. So, all we need to do is correspond each number with that particular letter that it's representing, and then write the same code for Calicut. So C is represented by 8s, A is represented by 2s, L is represented by 5s, I is represented by 1, C again 8, U is represented by 9, and T is represented by 6. So, the final code that we get is 8251896. Six. And as you can see among the options, it is clear that option C turns out to be the right option. Now, let's look at the final question for the day. This one is a simple one. Daughter is written as T-E-R-D-A-U-G-H. We need to find out how aptitude will be written. Now, if you look at the, the code for daughter, it basically is the last three letters of the word transposed to the first part of the word, if you look at the code. 
So what we need to do is we need to find the last three letters of aptitude. By the way, both of these are eight letter words. That's why this logic works here. We'll need to find the last three words, I mean three letters, and we need to transpose them to the starting of the word. Now, for aptitude, the final letters are U, D, E, which means the code for aptitude will be U, D, E, A, P, T, I, T. That's the rest of the word, and it stays as it is. So therefore, option B turns out to be the right option. In all of the other options, you can either see that the letters U, D, E are written in the wrong order, or the, the root of the word A-P-T-I-T gets changed. So that does not work. Option B turns out to be the right option. Now that concludes this episode of SNUSAT Questions with Solutions. We hope you found this episode interesting. For more of our useful and interesting content, don't forget to subscribe to Brain Blitz Audios. If you want to get the latest updates from our channel, then please don't forget to hit the bell icon present below the video. So until the next episode, take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye for now.